When my neighbours and I played war as kids, there was no fear or sorrow or cowardice. Death was temporary, usually as fast as you could count to 60 and jump back into the game. We didn't yet know about the darkness, and young men are just slightly older versions of those boys. And young men are just slightly older versions of those boys, still loving the unknown, perhaps pumped up on dreams of duty and heroism and the intoxicating power of weapons. In time, war dispels many such notions, and more than a few men find that being freed from society's professed revolution to kill. In time, war dispels many such notions, and more than a few men find that being freed from society's professed revulsion to killing is really no freedom at all, but a lonely burden. Yet, even at its lowest points, war is like nothing else. Our culture craves experience, and that is war's strong suit. War peels back the skin, and if you live with a layer of nerves exposed, overdosing on your surroundings, when everything seems all wrong and just right, in a way that makes perfect sense,